What actually happens after a burglary? Burglaries can be incredibly stressful for victims, of course. You have to deal with the insurance company, file a police report, and even feel unsecure in your own home. Some even move out of their houses. Hi, I'm Chris, and in this video is about police investigation, insurance, and the psych after a burglary. So, here we go. Let's talk about police investigations. If you notice a burglary, the first thing you should do is call the police. They will then come by, look at the crime scene and search for traces. They will also investigate how the burglaries got into the house and what tools they used. In order not to complicate the investigations, you should not touch anything or clean up before the police arrive. It is best not to enter the house or apartment at all. Also because you do not know if the burglary is still in the house. Although the burglary detection rate in Germany is only about 16%, you should take the police investigation seriously and support it as much as possible. Let's talk about the insurance. So, what do you do next? You call your insurance company. If you do everything right, the insurance company will pay the damage caused by the burglar. This includes the value of the stolen items and cash, as well as the damage the burglar left in the house. Before I talk about insurance, an important note. Every insurer has different terms and conditions, of course. Therefore, with everything I'm going to say, there is no guarantee that this will work exactly the same way with your insurer. If in doubt, ask or check your documents, then you can be absolutely sure. Now, for the topic of the insurance, I make a distinction between, uh, let's say, smaller home burglaries, where maybe cash, a laptop, and maybe some jewelry is stolen, and large attacks on the other side on wealthy individuals. That's where I talk a little bit more specifically about how you should insure items with um, large property values. We'll start with um, low theft burglaries, although low can be interpreted in different ways, of course. Let's just say that these are casual burglaries in apartments or small family houses where no particularly valuable items were stolen. For burglary, many insurances have a few requirements. For example, cash or jewelry outside a safe is often only insured up to about maybe 3,000 euros. In general, there is often an upper limit for the insurance amount for valuables. Another important note, Many insurance companies specify minimum security standards. If a burglar enters a home through a door that does not meet these minimum standards, the insurance company may not pay for the damage. Therefore, check with your insurance to find out what security measures you need. So what do you need to do after a burglary to get the insurance company pay for the value of these stolen items? First, immediately after the burglary, discuss the next steps with your insurance company. In the case of higher amounts, the insurance company may send a damage expert to you. Second, you definitely need a list of the stolen items. It is best to make this list immediately and give it to police and the insurance company. Third, the insurance company can demand that you provide proof that you actually own the stolen valuables. Here's a tip. It is best to take photos of everything that is valuable in your home including receipts and proofs of purchase of these items. It's best to store these photos in a secure cloud so that you can access them even if your cell phone or your laptop is stolen. You can also, for example, simply walk through your apartment or house once a year and take a video of everything you have. This not only helps if you have been burglared, but also in case there has been a fire. Their insurance company now needs the file number of your criminal report of the police. If you have valuable art objects at home, you should of course insure them beyond household insurance. That's why I'm now talking about burglaries in houses where large material assets could be stolen. Now, let's assume you have a lot of valuables at home. Watches, jewelry, art, and maybe you even collect classic cars. In that case, you probably realize that a basic insurance is no longer enough. For example, if you insure works of art, jewelry or vintage cars, the insurance company usually wants an expertise on their value. Also, proof of purchase and other evidence that you actually own the piece, the insurance company already has in advance. 
Of course, photos after a burglary are still helpful. That way, the insurance company does not have to be convinced that these items were in your house. If you are interested in the topic of insurance in the high-end sector with large sums insured, please write it in the comments. We are currently planning an interview with an insurance expert. If you have any questions about it, feel free to write them and we can ask our contact. I'll go over some basic here now. Basically, the action steps after a successful burglary are the same as for homeowner insurance. You discuss the further procedure with the insurance company and a damage assessor comes to you and get an impression. Therefore, it is especially important that you do not remove any burglar marks before the insurance company has looked at the damage. If the police have been there already, you might be allowed to change a broken lock for example. But be sure to take pictures first and do not throw it away. Clean up only what is necessary and throw away as little as possible. In certain cases, it may also make sense to hire a security guard for a few days to secure openings in the building until the damage is repaired. Another important requirement for the insurance company to pay the damage is that you meet minimum security standards. For large sums insured, these are often burglar resistant locks, window frames and window glass or similar. Ask your insurer to look at your home and tell you if you meet the minimum standard. Now let's move on to the next topic. What actually goes on in the victim's minds after a burglary? Everyone is affected differently after a burglary. A study by the Crime Research Institute of Germany surveyed victims and evaluated how different people cope psychologically with a burglary. The result, everything from mild anger to depression. Three quarters of those surveyed feel insecure in their own home. 39% of those affected suffered from sleep disturbances after the incident and 24% had nightmares. 4% of the victims even lose parts of their memory of the burglary. The survey shows that the psychological and emotional consequence of a burglary can be far-reaching and the victims are still psychologically burned for a long time. The first 24 hours after the burglary are the worst for those affected and the psychological stress can then last for varying lengths of time. For 15%, severe stress remains for a year after the incident. Overall, about 16% of those affected felt to desire to leave the apartment or the house permanently. For 11% of the women and 7% of men, the ongoing psychological stress after the burglary actually led them to move. I know families who had to leave their homes after a burglary because they, they felt really uncomfortable. They couldn't stay there anymore even after a few months and some of them had trouble sleeping. The consequences can be serious. Imagine growing up in a house, knowing your neighbors and choosing to live there but suddenly feeling unsafe. According to a study, 34% of the people who move because of a burglary still felt unsafe after moving. This shows that a burglary can have long-lasting effects on a person's mental well-being, sometimes even for life. Talk to a therapist or contact The White Ring. This is an organization in Germany that offers free counseling for crime victims. There might be other ones in different countries. Now let's talk briefly about whether burglars target the same place again after a successful burglar. Some studies suggest that a certain groups of burglars do target the same place multiple times, especially if they got valuable things during the first burglary. It may not be the exact same house, but it could be the same neighborhood. So if there has been a burglary in your area, you might want to think whether your home would be more secure than your neighbors. After a burglary, remember to take these steps. First, immediately call the police if you notice signs of a break-in. Second, create a list of stolen items and report them to your insurance company and the police. If possible, do provide receipts as proof of ownership. And third, file a criminal complaint and provide the file number to your insurance company. Fourth, seek professional help if you experience psychological distress, 
after the burglary. And remember this one thing. One in 10 Germans experience a burglary at least once in their life. It's essential to protect your family and belongings proactively instead of waiting for something to happen. If you want to learn more about burglary and burglary protection, click on this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.